Welcome back to Toronto as we get set for the Rangers and Toronto Maple Leafs. Closed captioning tonight is brought to you by the New York Lottery. Hey, you never know. We will check our Audi goaltender matchups. And in goal for the Rangers, Cam Talbot, his third start of the season. Had a big win over the Maple Leafs last season here, seven to one. We talked with him this morning, said, how about that game? You played well here. He said, now the guys jumped all over the Leafs and got me seven. <laughs> and that helps. <laughs> helps your confidence for sure. But even that third period that he played against the Leafs earlier this season, I thought he was strong. Across the way is Jonathan Bernier making the start. Some people thought it might be James Reimer as they've got both of them going and you see the numbers career wise well, part wise this season for Jonathan Bernay 2.59 the save percentage 960 yeah well part of the reason Sam is that tomorrow Toronto is going to Ottawa to right. make up that game that was oh, missed right. because of the the shootings in Ottawa and so Reimer has an almost an impeccable record against uh, the Ottawa senator so that's why he will be playing tomorrow a little delay in the start. We had a uh, special ceremony on the ice honoring Remembrance Day, and there is the head coach of the New York Rangers, Elaine Vigno, wearing the poppy in his lapel for Remembrance Day, which comes up on Tuesday. Several veterans here. Randy Carlisle, the head coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs, and it's been an up and down start for the Leafs again this season. Yeah, it really has, and. You know, people keep talking about last year as well because they they had just a, a real good start to the season, and it looked like in February that they were going to be a playoff team, and then they went on a big swoon to finish the season, missed out of the playoffs, and then of course this year, as you mentioned, Sam, some highs, some lows, and of course they're always pointing at the coach saying, yep. "Yeah, they need a new coach." Pretty good coach, though. And I'd they say. started rough at home. They lost four of their first five at home. They've won their last two. It's Buffalo and Chicago. And there's the man. There's that smile. Yeah. Derek Stepan, he can't wait to get on the ice to start his fifth season as a New York Ranger. And prior to this season, he hadn't missed a regular season game. So this has been a tough stretch for him. Boy, he is ready to go. See him leaning down the bench saying, let's go, belting it out to his teammates. And, you know, he said that the thing is probably going to be most difficult for him because of all the time he's missed is those plays in, in small little spaces, you know, the quick give and goes and that type of thing. That's something that we'll watch out for in this game. But it's great to see him back in uniform and on the ice. And this guy has been great every game. Yes, I think, he has. I think he's been as good as any player in the National Hockey League right now. That's a return home for him. He's got family and friends in attendance. And we're underway. Top line against top line to start the game. Broussard Nash. And St. Louis with Girardi and Stahl for the Rangers. Cody Franson, number four, the defenseman in deep. Whips it around the boards. It goes all the way back in the leaf zone. Dion Phaneuf after it. Nash is there. Got a piece of it. St. Louis chases after it. Nash keeping it alive. Surrounded by Leafs. And the Leafs come out with it. Tyler Bozak sends it in. Both teams go for a line change the starting lineups coming in at the top of your screen are brought to you by infinity luxury cars delivered inspired performance that was quieter with a good play putting it on goal Bernier got a piece of it long shot score Chris Kreider with a deflection in front off the shot by Kevin Klein and the Rangers have an opening minute goal. You know, Sam, I was thinking as I'm watching the start of this and thinking about the Toronto players this morning, there were three or four of them that said, that, that mentioned, you know, sometimes we got off to slow starts and it's tough to come back. Well, how about this? Great work down in the corners and then Chris Kreider uses the strength, uses his body, look, he uses his body to protect his stick. Holland is there to try and defend against him, and he can't get the stick because he's using his body to get in the way, and then he gets the deflection. What a start. And Derek Stepan was on the ice his first shift of the season. He gets a plus out of it. So there's Zuccarello with a back pass to Klein. Klein with a big shot, and the Rangers 
have a one nothing lead as Kreider goes to the front. You can see how upset Randy Carlisle is already. Yeah, it's, you know, this kind of start, and again, especially at home, and you referenced that, it's the better road team than they are at home. And so these fans are already, they come here and they're thinking, yeah, okay, you know, this is a team, what's gonna happen tonight? They give up an early goal, and if the Rangers can get another one, in this first period, sometime shortly. I mean, these fans will quickly oh, turn yeah. against this team. They don't wait long. Dominic Moore, this is home for him. He's got family and friends in the house. And Moore with a takeaway, moves it all. Diving play by David Clarkson to break it up. What might have been a breakaway for Dominic Moore. Offside whistle against the Leafs. A minute 12 gone by here in the first period. The Rangers getting the jump on the Leafs. There's David Clarkson. You had a good chat with him this morning, Joe. Yeah just about the way he's feeling in his second year with the Leafs. It's just, you know, he's just, he said it's a complete 180 from last year. He started the season with the 10 game suspension, ended up having elbow surgery, broke his foot, couldn't score, big free agent signing, all that pressure here in Toronto, but this year's better for him. Plus his wife was pregnant. Yeah. She gave birth to their second child, so. Things are pretty good. He says he really likes it now. Anthony Duclair on the ice with Kevin Hayes. Duclair with a shot that's stopped by Bernier. Good chance for Anthony Duclair. And we join John Giannone, who's between the benches. John. Tell you this, I can tell you this, guys. Uh, yeah, Randy Carlisle was mad about giving up a goal in the first minute, but check this out. Mike Santarelli hit hard into the boards by Chris Kreider, and the screaming and the madness you saw from Randy Carlisle was directed at the referee, Justin St. Pierre, for not calling that a penalty early on. Boom, Rangers come back, and it's Kreider who scores. Thank you, John. Yeah, good stuff, John. Thank you. John sharing space with Glenn Healy tonight. All right. There'll be some laughs down there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Old Heels is quite the man. Hasn't changed a bit. I'll tell you what, he's good at what he does. A giveaway, the pass in front was deflected out of the zone. Marty St. Louis with a pass. This is a terrible start defensively for Toronto. Bozak moves in, a backhander kicked away with a right pad by Talbot. I mean, the Rangers in the offensive zone are just, you know, they're quick on the puck, they're making plays, and they're catching Toronto out of position. Kessel pulls back. So Kessel, third in the league in scoring. One point behind the co-leaders, Sidney Crosby and Jake Voracek, who have 19 points, and Phil Kessel with 18. Up the boards, Zuccarello was stopped in center. Sam, you ever see anybody get as criticized as a player as Phil Kessel? Oh, and every man. year he's just doing what he's supposed to do. Every year he Scoring scores goals. between 30 and 40 goals. Yeah. Scores goals, gets chances, great speed, the shot, the whole thing. And meanwhile, again, the quick start for the Rangers and Toronto with puck movement. That was that's Bozak that gets the pass from Kessel and ends up on the back end. Gets a pretty good scoring chance and Cam Talbot able to kick that one out. The scoring on the Rangers goal is Kreider, his fourth from Klein and Zuccarello at 53 seconds. The Rangers have a one nothing lead. Bozak for the face-off against Dominic Moore. Dominic Moore spent some time here with the Toronto Maple Leafs, wins the face-off back, set up the boards by Kevin Klein. Kevin Klein in his return to the lineup after missing a game, plus the time in which he was injured against Winnipeg, played uh, over 18 minutes against Detroit the other night. The time seemed to be laboring a, a little bit, but seems to be fine to start the game tonight. Yeah, Klein here with Hunwick. And Morgan Riley, Sam, just went to the bench too. The Toronto defenseman, he looked to be laboring. Puck deflected on goal and is covered by Cam Talbot. 314 gone by. There is Morgan Riley. He was a healthy scratch in the last game at Colorado. A lot of people were shaking their head about that because they thought he's been one of the best def uh, defensemen. No, it's just a, a collision with Haglin. And he went down awkwardly, was slow to get up. There he is out there checking out the, the leg. Second year man. He's a, he's a good player, good looking young player. Can handle the puck, make plays, get, getting better defensively. Girardi's pass to Derek Stepan, who lifts it out of the zone. All the way back, Bernier decides to cover up. Kreider has come out flying, that was Kreider chasing after the puck and Cody Franson upset with him. Well, he actually held up the defenseman Pollock. 
He held him up. He grabbed him to slow him down and to slow himself down. There ended up to be some kind of a snow shower, but you watch him here. Look at this. He's got a hold of him. And it was actually, you know, the snow shower was the Toronto player. And I apologize. That's not Cody France, and that's Roman Pollock. Yeah. Yeah, there's... there it is again. He's actually holding, he's holding him so he doesn't run into his own goaltender. <laughs> they get upset with him. You got to get build the animosity early, <laughs> Joe. Well, when you're down one nothing. That gets your blood flowing and face bubbling off. a little bit. Yeah. Face off win by Kevin Hayes. Hayes, Duclair, and Tanner Glass. The line for the Rangers. Hayes with the takeaway. And the puck moved up and out of the zone. Brought in by Matt Fratton. His shot on goal is stopped by Talbot. He holds it. It's a lot of whistles early, a lot of stops and starts. 349 gone by. Well, both goaltenders, Sam, are not taking any chances at all. Even when there's no one around them, they're holding on to the puck and they're getting face-offs. Talbot. You know, instead of just keeping the play going, I, I think probably just to let his team get started, not allow Toronto to, to build up any type of momentum here with this, you know, with the Rangers leading it early. Mike Santarelli and Derek Broussard on the faceoff. The puck sent out by Nash. Franson around the boards. Nash, good anticipation. That was shot blocked by Franson in front. Man, Nash was... Quick to the puck. He was right there as he was cleared around the boards and got a snapped off a quick shot. Komarov puts it in the Rangers only. Leo Komarov number 47. Broussard able to move it. And Connor Allen sends out Marty St. Louis. Nice play, Connor Allen. Took his time, found the open man. Nice little outlet pass. Another player who's done a nice job since his call up and insertion into the lineup. Girardi with a hit on Komarov. Along the boards in the Rangers zone. It's worked free by Stemtiak, then taken back. Peter Holland playing it toward the net. And Talbot was able to steer it away. Rangers have Haglin on with Dominic Moore and Lee Stempniak. That long shot by Stefan Robida is a save. Robida on his first year with the Maple Leafs after spending so many years with the Dallas Stars and finishing last season in Anaheim. That puck deflects out of play. Again, more whistles and Mark Stahl. We talked about him during the open of the show and how he has elevated his game by a good couple of steps. When they had all those injuries on defense, you could just see Mark Stahl and Dan Girardi in particular just kind of take this thing and say, all right, now we, they really need us. It's time to time for us to lead the way and they have really been good both players good sign we saw Dan Boyle working this morning skating shooting passing the puck he says each day it's getting better there's still some soreness still some pain but he says he's close to coming back very very close so he hopes sometime next week he'll be back in the lineup now some cadre putting it in front good play by Kevin Klein Franson playing it deep turning and shooting saved by Talbot Nice play on the shot by David Clarkson. Zuccarello fires across. Rangers the early 1-0 lead. Derek Stepan gets around Dion Fedoff. And runs into Nazem Padre, and they both went down. Played along the boards by Tanner Glass. Now in after it is Duclair. Anthony Duclair, who's uh, got his grandma here, his sister is here, his dad is here. And he forgot his uh, his phone charger in his dad's car. Dad was uh, on his way back uh, home, and <laughs> and he called him, Dad, come back. I need my charger. <laughs> 19. <laughs> There's Phil Kessel. That was blocked. Kessel winds it deep, taken by Girardi. Up the boards for Nash. It stopped at the point. The shot by Riley, a save. Rebound Bozak that was blocked by Stahl. Good pressure here by the Leafs. The Rangers able to break it. Mark Stahl carries in. Check there by Bozak. Back behind the net, Riley. Puts it up ahead for Van Riemsdyk, who is stopped by Michael Koska. Nice play. Koska spent the entire lockout season here in Toronto. A lot of people said he really played well for them. 
that year, and he loved playing for Randy Carlisle. Randy Carlisle, of course, won the Norris Trophy as a defenseman back in his playing days. So he learned a lot, Tosca did from Carlisle. Bernier swinging it around the glass. Tosca winds it deep. Shot by Tosca is blocked. Played back. And broken up. Good defensive play by Jake Gardner. Back the other way pass for Komarov. Cleared out by Tosca. Tosca looks like he's just keeping it very simple, Joe. Getting it out of the zone. That shot blocked. It hit a man in front. Hit Jake Gardner. Back the other way, Leo Komarov. Klein is there. The shot on goal. Talbot leaving no rebounds. Holds it. With 12-19 to go in the first period. We may get some penalties here. Now Komarov is their most physical player, and he gets involved in front of the net. Rangers got the opening minute goal from Chris Kreider and have a 1-0 lead on the Leafs. John Gino back in Toronto, a look of puzzlement and some annoyance on the head coach of the New York Rangers, Elaine Vigneault, because during that last scrum in front of the net when Leo Komarov crashed the net, Connor Allen was the only one called for a penalty, so the Rangers will have to kill a penalty here in the early going in the first period. And here's what happened. So they get together, Komarov goes down, another extra shove from Connor Allen after he was warned not to, and that's why he is in the penalty box. We will have Dominic Moore with us between periods. Tweet your questions to him. Use the hashtag NYR. Bill and Ron are in New York. They'll analyze the first period. Only a push. Let the boys play. It was just a push. Thanks, John. Kevin Pollock and Justin St. Pierre are the referees tonight. The Leafs, very dangerous on the power play. Have five power play goals over the last five games. Five for 18. And penalty. The Rangers trying to clear, and the Hagelin. whistle stops play, and the Rangers will be shorthanded two men. You know, when John reported right after the Rangers goal how upset Randy Carlisle was with the officials, and he let him know. Wonder if he didn't, mm -hmm. that didn't come back to help him a little bit on that call. This is the stick up on the hands, and so Hagelin. Well, head to the penalty box. Or five on three. Now opportunity for the Toronto Maple Leafs. A minute 38 remaining in the first penalty. So the Rangers bring on Dominic Moore with Mark Stahl and Dan Girardi. Leafs with a big chance here. Franson and Phaneuf play the points. Cody Franson switches sides with Dion Phaneuf. Here's Kessel looking out to Franson. Now to Kessel. Bozak is in front at the top of the crease. Van Riemsdyk to the side. That's a pass to Van Riemsdyk. Out to Fanuk. Van Riemsdyk. Pass across. They score. Phil Kessel. Just like that. Beautiful feed from James Van Riemsdyk. Kessel finishes. And the Leafs have tied the game. And still have a power play opportunity. And you see how upset Elaine Vigno is. Now that was a gorgeous pass from Van Riemsdyk. He had to lift the puck over the stick of stall. Here it is. You'll end up getting it left side of your screen and Van, is Van Riemsdyk, and there it is. Lifts it up and over, and there's Phil Kessel on the other side to finish it off. Oh, you can see, man, that Elaine Vigneault is, he's fuming. He's, he's just ready to, to rip. Now it's a five on four power play advantage for the Leafs as they cash in on the two man advantage. And Jake Gardner carries in. Met by Kevin Klein. Klein and Hunwick on defense for the Rangers with Nash and Tanner Glass up front. Rick Nash try to feed Glass. Tanner Glass chases it down. Game tied 1 1 as Phil Kessel gets his eighth goal of the season. Nice takeaway by Kevin Hayes. Hayes and Stepniak on for the Rangers. Long shot that goes on goal by Mark Stahl. Stahl joined by Dan Girardi on defense. Nassim Kadri moves in. Here's Jake Gardner with a wrister and a save by Talbot. Puck off the glass. 40 seconds to go on the Leafs power play, and Hayes does a good job carrying it out to center and dumping it deep. Kadri heads up ice for the Leafs. Rangers four across the line, brought an offside. Nice job by the Rangers at the blue line. You know, we normally see Elaine Vigneault under pretty good control. He was visibly upset. And here's why. Watch the stick. Not sure that ever got the hands. Looked like he might have just lifted the stick, Haglin. 
And then that led to the five on three, and then there's the goal. Beautiful mm. pass. Wow, gorgeous pass from Van Riemsdyk. Kessel gets his eighth. Van Riemsdyk and Fanuf the assist at 827, a five on three power play goal. Right now, the Leafs with 20 seconds left in their man advantage. Peter Holland, number 24. Morgan Riley with a puck. Zuccarello is on the ice with Dominic Moore. Girardi and Stahl. They're working around the Fanuf. Holding. Stahl is there, blocks the pass. Holland gives it away to Dominic Moore, gets it out of the zone. That's it. Teams are back at full strength on the ice. And the game tied 1-1 with 9.45 to go in the first period. Holland sends it in. Talbot stops it. Around the boards for San Luis. Off his gate, he kicked it across to Broussard. Tosca lifts in. Derek Broussard has seven points in his last four games. Man, has he been going. Boy, he just, he wants the puck. He wants to hold on and make a play when he's got it. Santarelli turns for a shot. Saved by Talbot. Long rebound. Costco was able to move it. Broussard got it out of the zone. Brought back in. Leafs game has come on here the last couple of minutes. Well, the penalties. With the power play. Yeah, the penalties have changed everything, Sam. The Rangers had that early momentum, and they were getting chances off their forecheck, and then once the penalties started happening, it changed this momentum somewhat. Santorelli winds it around the boards, played there by Richard Ponick, the former Tampa Bay Lightning. Santorelli's pass broken up by Stepan, and Stepan controls and heads up ice. Fires it wide of the net off the end boards. Zuccarello chases it down, gets away from Fanuk. Feeds Stepan, wraparound is stopped by Bernier. Nice play by Derek Stepan around the net. There was a chance, and there's that smile. Phil Kessel tied it for the Leafs with a power play goal. It's 1-1. That is Johnny Bauer, who played for the New York Rangers and Toronto Maple Leafs 15 years in the NHL. Today, he is 90 years old. Uh, he God is, bless Johnny Bauer. No kidding, Sam. And he still goes to functions. And, and this is a special night. As we talked about, they're honoring the veterans here at this game tonight. And he was also a World War II veteran. Mm -hmm. And his likeness and his number up here in the rafters at the Air Canada Center. He is quite the gentleman. He played three seasons in the 1950s with the Rangers, but most of his career here in Toronto, great, great goaltender and a Hall of Famer. And it's great to see him. Quick shot, Zuccarello. Great glove save by Bernier. We go to ice side to John Giannone. Guys, I can tell you this, Elaine Vigneault is still incensed at that call. He stared at Kevin Pollock during the entire last commercial break. Pollock finally sauntered over near the Rangers bench. Vigneault yelled something at him, and Pollock said, you keep bringing it up, and you're out of here, meaning he was going to throw him out of the game. Really? They had one more discussion about it, and Kevin Pollock skated away. Joe, I, I agree with you 100%. I think Elaine Vigneault knows that call, as weak as it might have been, really impacted the early momentum of the Rangers game. Thanks, John. John's on top of it. There's some good stuff going down on the yeah, ice. Good stuff for sure. We'll be checking in. Ryder's in to take the face off. Step on chase. Step on along the boards. Holland gets to it for Toronto. I mean, I thought the first call was was the weak call. It was just some pushing in front of the net. Yeah. I mean, you got to let that stuff go. That's that's the way hockey players play. They battle in front of the net. Holland with a takeaway from Girardi. Stall is there. Work it back to Dan Girardi. Out comes Stepan. Leads Kreider. Kreider in against Roman Pollock. That's broken up by Morgan Riley. Riley can really skate. That's his strength. Santorelli moves in for the Leafs. Game tied 1-1. Just under eight minutes to go. First period. Pomeroff let it go through to Jake Gardner. And at the side of the net. It bounces off the net. Played by Santorelli. Santorelli looking. He's hit by Zuccarello. And after it is Matt Hunwick. Peter Holland on him. Hunwick with a good play to get it to Kevin Klein. And Klein waits. Rangers make a line change. And they've completed the change. The forwards come back. Klein looking for an opening. Fires up the boards for Stempniak. Gardner sends it the other way. Kessel was stopped by Klein. He clears it out. Sent right back in by Robidov. Mark Stahl takes over. 
Here's Lee Stempiak with a big goal in the game against Detroit. In deep. Haglin for Moore. Haglin in the corner. Puts it in front. Stempiak got knocked down by Kessel. Kessel looked toward the referee as if wondering, oh, I might get called here. Good play by Kessel in front. Stepniak pass across offside. Haglund ahead of the play. That's pushing, isn't it, in front of the net? Not supposed to push. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Meanwhile, Sam, we talked step, uh, step on, of course, back in the lineup for the Rangers. And his good buddy from Minnesota is number 51 on the Leafs. Jake Gardner. There he is. Mm -hmm. A little pushing and shoving. They've been friends since they were 10 years old. Back in Minnesota. And of yeah, course, then they ended up going to Wisconsin together. And Ryan McDonough ends the, up at Wisconsin. I was about he did, to say, the other good buddy is back home, Ryan McDonough. Well, he didn't know Ryan uh, before they went to college, but obviously became good friends there. Sam Carrick comes in with a shot. Talbot got right. bowled over. Oh, he was pushed in, yes. And that's that's going right to be call. a penalty on the Leafs. Yeah, it was, a, it was Talbot's teammate that ended up pushing over but it was the the hit from uh, from Levo that there it is from behind and that that caused Costa to go into the net into his goaltender and so that puts the Rangers on the power play the bowling ball effect Josh Levo shoving Michael Costa into Cam Talbot Rangers get a power play this power play presented by Volkswagen the Rangers power play has come alive the last two games three for seven over the last two games two for three against Detroit St. Louis with Broussard Nash Girardi and Stepniak St. Louis to Stepniak he shoots high off the glass St. Louis try to play it back to Girardi but Holland did a good job taking it away Leafs are 12 in penalty killing in the league. Rangers power play is 24th in the league. Game tied 1-1 with six minutes to go first period. Girardi heads up ice. Off the stick of St. Louis, deep in the league zone. It's whistled down for an icing on the Rangers. With 5.54 to go in this first period. Tomorrow on MSG, it's the Rangers at the Garden against the Edmonton Oilers who won last night in Buffalo. Live coverage begins at 5.30 with Visa Rangers game night with Al Trotwig. Then it's the Rangers and the Oilers, 6 p.m. on MSG. Yeah, they won that game. Yeah, they won that game late last night. They had 52 shots on goal, Edmonton, in Buffalo. Stempniak able to get it to Broussard. Broussard carries in with Nash. Pass goes through Nash and is taken away and cleared by Komarov. Matt Hunwick has come on. Rangers change power play units. One minute to go on the man advantage. That's an area for Toronto that is much improved this year. They're penalty killing. They were 28th last season in that category. Declares Stepan, Kreider, Hunwick, and Zuccarello on the ice for the Rangers. Here's Stepan. Hunwick back to Stepan. Kreider sets up in front of Bernier. Declares at the side of the circle. Shot by Zuccarello wide. Stepan there to play it. Stepan looks, pass through to Zuccarello. Zuccarello controlling. His pass deflected off of Komarov out of the zone. Komarov blocks another pass and has the puck. Good play by Leo Komarov. Pass back. It is Holland. He scores. Have the lead. Now well, Zuccarello tried to go through Komarov to make the play right here. Doesn't, comes out, Komarov again. And now Zuccarello has a broken stick. So he has to try and defend without a stick. And then no one picks up the late man. Here it comes again. I mean, Komarov makes two defensive plays. Zuccarello now doesn't have a stick. So Hunwick has to come over and defend. And then Peter Holland, who just follows it up. No one picked him up in the middle of the ice. And Holland makes the nice play to give the Leafs the lead. Mm. Rangers with 10 seconds to go on the man advantage. 
Yeah, not been able to get much going on the power play. That's, Flying across to Stahl. That's a sloppy play by the yeah. Rangers. That's a sloppy goal to give up. Stahl checked by Pollock. Pass back to Klein. Power play is over. That pass blocked by Holland and cleared out by Levo. Here's David Clarkson in. Cuts in front and shot blocked by Klein. Good play there. And the takeaway by Nash, who was swatted with the stick by Roman Pollock. St. Louis toward the net, tipped and knocked away by Bernier. Leafs with a two to one lead, four minutes to go, first period. Peter Holland gets the goal, his second of the season from Leo Komarov at 15-11, a shorthanded goal. And the Leafs with a power play goal and a shorthanded goal. And prior to the game, Elaine Vigno was saying that he thought specialty teams would be a big factor, play a big factor in this game. They have already. Shot from the side by Haglin, a save by Bernier, and he holds it. 340 remaining in the first period. Rangers had the early lead, but now the Leafs have a two to one lead. Peter Holland scored it. Rangers being outshot 12 to six after they had the early momentum, but the penalties, penalties changed. really turned sure things around. Yeah, that's for sure. They did exactly what they wanted to do. Quick start, score early, and Holland, who scored the shorthand to go, watch this, takes that, goes down to block the shot by Klein, takes it up high, it looked like near the ribs. And he was slow to get up, made it to the bench, and then left the bench and went to the Leafs locker room. Stepan Kreider and Zuccarello on for the Rangers with Girardi and Stahl. 3.40 to go here in the first. Face-off win by Nazem Kadri. Kreider able to take it back in the corner. Winds it for Zuccarello. He's checked there by Morgan Riley. Zuccarello controls. Pass back to Stahl. Long shot blocked by Clarkson. Step on there to play it. Now Stahl to Girardi. Toward the net, but wide. Bounces down. Step on trying to play it. Kadri able to move it to Morgan Riley. And Riley skates it clear. In sitting Morgan Riley out, Randy Carlisle said, you've got to use your speed more. You've got to use your skating ability. That's your strength. Use it. And thus far, what we've seen in the first period, Riley's done just that. Yep. Now he's still a young player. You know, sometimes you just sit those players out and let them learn a little bit, watch the game. Tanner Glass carries in. He's hit by Jake Gardner. Puck off the glass. Gardner able to pick it up. Gardner was shaken up in the game in Colorado. He went out early. And he's back in the lineup tonight. Leafs are offside. 2.35 to go here in the first period. Many artists have played the garden, but only one has made it his home. Go behind the scenes with a piano man, Billy Joel, home at the garden. An MSG original. It premieres Monday night after Knicks basketball on MSG Network. You seen him in concert there? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> He's one of the all-time great? greats. Just rocks the house. Okay. Rangers take it away. Played off the boards by Dominic Moore. Here's Haglin leaving it to Stepniak. Save Bernier. The rebound missed by Moore. There's a big rebound that popped in the air. Kessel bringing it across. Down low for Van Riemsdyk. Hunwick on Van Riemsdyk. Moore able to clear it out of the zone. Van Riemsdyk had a special night here a week ago Saturday when the Chicago Blackhawks were here and his younger brother was playing for the Blackhawks and mom and dad came up and the brothers and the whole, whole family. And we asked James how his brother is doing. He said, good news. They told him to get, get a, a place, place in Chicago. That's right. So there was happiness in the Van Riemsdyk family, but he said it was weird playing against his brother. And Van Riemsdyk was on the ice for a goal, or James was against his brother. So. Now the other thing he said, he said, you know what? He's not getting points now, and he didn't in the preseason. He said, but he's a good offensive player, mm -hmm. so that part of his game will come around. He's just tried to be real, played careful to make the team. Now been playing it around the boards and out of the zone. A minute 15 to go in the period. Rangers haven't been able to sustain much offense the last several minutes. 
at least the second half of this first period. Cody Franson finds a lane. It's blocked in front. Rebound score! Richard Lanick finding the puck in front, and the Leafs get a late goal. They've scored three consecutive goals and lead three to one. Again, the Rangers a little sloppy defensively. And this goes all the way around. Watch all the room at the point. All right, this is Franson with all that room. Now you got three Rangers in front and just one Maple Leafs player. That's Ponick, and that doesn't get through initially. And Koska was there. He turned to look at the goaltender while that was happening. Ponick with the quick release through the legs of Cam Talbot. What a turnaround in this first period. Oh Rangers had a good start, and Toronto credit, boy, once they got their power play and they changed the momentum, they kept coming. They forced the Rangers into some mistakes. And the Rangers haven't been sharp since the no. good start. Power play goal, a shorthanded goal, and now Richard Ponick for Tampa Bay Lightning with the even strength goal and the Leafs with 13 shots on goal here in the first. Now lead the Rangers three to one. Ryder trying to swing down in front, pass in front, score! Matt Zuccarello! On a great play by Chris Kreider! And the Rangers answer right back, and it's a 3-2 to two game. Boy, you talk about a big goal at an important time. The momentum was all on the Toronto side. Face-off, and Toronto actually won the face-off, but Kreider with his speed gets in there and gets the puck, and then is able to control. What a shot. Good little pass, but the quickness with which Zuccarello gets the shot doesn't stop, but just kind of shovels it forward. He's on his forehand, shovels it forward right through everyone and through the legs of the goaltender Bernier, and the Rangers cut it to a goal. That's a big goal. It sure goal. is. The Leafs were really feeling good about their game. They had dominated the last at half of this period, if not more. And now the goal by Zuccarello from Kreider cuts it to three to two. The Leafs' third goal was Ponick. His third is a wraparound by Kessel that's stopped by Talbot. That's kept in by Robida. To Kessel, a save, rebound, save! Talbot with two big saves as he stopped Kessel and Van Riemsdyk. Van Riemsdyk's pass blocked by Klein. Oh, the Leafs, that line is dangerous. Wow. And Reemstein fires, it was tipped away by Talbot. Talbot, two big saves. So the Rangers in that last minute, what a wild last minute. With Toronto opening up for 3-1 lead, Zuccarello scoring, and then Talbot, two big saves. This has all the makings of an 8-7 game, doesn't it? Neither team played all that well defensively. Both teams able to find goals through the legs of the goaltenders. Who knows what's going to happen That's here in the right. second period. Don't we'll see. leave now. It's <laughs> only getting started. Coming up, it's the first intermission report. John Giannone rejoins us. Dominic Moore will be his special guest. Bill Pito has the Audi MSG 150 back in the MSG studio. Ron Duguay and Bill will have highlights and analysis. It's all coming up on the Delta intermission report. Rangers got the first goal. Derek Stepan with his season debut. Riders scored. Then the Leafs scored three straight. And then the Rangers got a big goal from Matt Zuccarello. It's 3 2 Toronto, end of one. Back in beautiful Toronto, Ontario. Sam Rosen, Joe Micheletti, John Giannone. Glad you're with us. New York Rangers hockey on MSG presented by Chase. Before we get to the second period, let's check out our Cadillac trivia question of the night. And here it is. Who is the only father-son duo to be drafted by the New York Rangers? The only father-son duo to be drafted by the Rangers. What do you think? Well, we don't have to answer it yet. No, Just I know. I'm not, I'm not going to answer Let everybody yet. think about it. You're in deep thought here. I, I am. I see you, really. I am. Peter Holland 
who uh, blocked that shot by Kevin Klein back on the bench for the Toronto Maple Leafs. What are your thoughts about uh, the way the period ended and starting this second I think it, I think it's good uh, for the Rangers to me. You know, this is a this is a Toronto team that continues to struggle defensively. And so for the Rangers, if they tighten up, defend, I mean, they, they had some sloppy plays in the first period, which is unlike them defensively. And they tighten up defensively and then just forecheck like they were. You know, I, I think they, you know, I think that's the key to them, you know, coming back to win this. Lead to Nash, uses his speed up, but up, save! Oh, wow. what a move by Rick Nash. Bernier kicked out the right pad to stop the shot. That's a great save. Toward the net, it was deflected by Phaneuf as St. Louis was all alone in front. Here's Phaneuf for the outlet pass. And Van Riemsdyk sends it in. Good first shift now that, that line. That's what I mean, Sam. Uh, this, again, this Toronto team, this, they, have, they have trouble playing solid defensive hockey. Pass off the skate of Kreider. Rangers have to get on side, and they have not gotten on side. All three players, one took a turn going into the zone too soon. How about the step on line in the first period? Two goals, five points between the three of them. Derek Stepan gets his first point of the season. Stepan checking Santarelli. Carrello trying to move it out. Carrello got the goal at the end of the period from Kreider and Stepan. So Kreider with a goal and an assist in the game. Zuccarello with a goal and an assist in the game. And Derek Stepan. The only negative for Derek Stepan was that uh, he had trouble with faceoffs. One in six in that first period. Ron Duguay talked about that right at the top. Wondering how he would do faceoff wise. David Clarkson for Toronto with the puck. Jake Gardner toward the net, deflected. Nice save, rebound save. Oh, Talbot coming up with a big rebound save on Nassim Kadri. Yes. After that deflection shot by Jake Gardner. Well, he had to react to a deflected puck. Here comes a shot from the point that will get deflected, slows down, then he reacts, good save, and then is in good position to make the second save on Kadri. And meanwhile, here comes Rick Nash. We've seen that, seen this this year. He goes right around Dion Phaneuf. And beautiful right pad save by Bernier. Broussard and Bozak for the faceoff. Broussard wins that one back. Pass off the boards, intercepted by Bozak, across the Kessel. He waits, his shot deflected away, goes off the glass. Kessel again. Boy, is this line dangerous. That pass deflects out of the zone, and it's a deliberate offside whistle against Cody Franson. Faceoff will go deep in the Toronto zone. Yeah, Franson is arguing the call, but there really is no argument. He tried to settle it down quickly. It bounced outside, and then you could just tell that he knew it was going to be an offside and decided to touch it anyway, which might have been the right thing to do anyway because of the pressure. He certainly didn't want to give up no. a breakaway. Bozak wins this one. Franson plays it off the glass. Blocked by Broussard. Pass deflects across into the corner. St. Louis. Now Nash. Enough checks him. Nash gets loose. Pass down low, St. Louis hits the side of the net. That fire to the side, the other side was blocked by Bernier. Nash drops it back, Stahl couldn't handle it. Out of the zone, Van Riemsdyk. Girardi is back. Van Riemsdyk, the trailer is France and down low, Kessel. Kessel around the net, Girardi does a good job on him. And Tanner Glass able to take it out. Good play by Dan Girardi in the defensive zone. Bozak takes himself offside. 2.55 gone by. Second period. Rangers trailing 3-2. Experience blue shirt action in a suite at Madison Square Garden this season. A limited number of single night suites are now available. Visit NewYorkRangers.com slash suites or call 212-465-6771 to reserve yours today. Hayes and Carrick on the faceoff. Sam Carrick wins it back. Gardner plays it across. Talbot with a good.
good pass to Glass. Off the boards, leaving Hayes just a little too far. No icing, good hustle by Hayes. He knocked down Jake Gardner. And out with the puck, Sam Carroll. Josh Lebo is playing his first game with the Leafs this season. Played seven with the Leafs last season. Off the boards, knocked down. Hayes couldn't control. They're without Daniel Winnick are the Leafs, who was injured earlier this week in Colorado. Suffered what appears to be a concussion, a deflection off the skate of Zuccarello went wide. Yeah, it, it, you thought, Sam, they, they said that he's 100% okay, but not playing in this one. It was a scary looking, actually fell right on his head early in that game against Colorado, but they, they did all the baseline testing. A takeaway, a save by Bernier as he robbed Zuccarello again. And the Leafs take an icing here. Rangers getting some really good chances. You keep the puck in the Leaf zone and you're going to get chances. Plain and simple, and what a chance by Zuccarello. Here's the pressure again. Good job pinching in on the point. Steal of the puck. And that was Levo that lost the puck, and then what a save. Beautiful right pad save by Bernier, who's made two of those here in this period. Step on with a nice play. You saw those great hands that he has. A takeaway and a quick move to the net. Hunwick gave it away. Fratton able to clear it out. Hunwick hit him in St. Louis. Gives it to Matt Hunwick. Pass off the stick of Broussard. Robida there to play it. Robida for Fratton all the way across to Van Riemsdyk. Moves in on Girardi. Girardi got a piece of it. Off the boards that was Klein, excuse me, not Girardi on the defensive play. Broussard all the way through St. Louis for Nash and it was blocked by Franson. Here's Broussard. Finds it behind the net. Franson steps in to get it. Van Riemsdyk gets it out of the zone. Nearly five minutes gone by in the second period. Leafs with a 3-2 lead on the Rangers. Rangers scored the first goal of the game in the opening minute of the first period. Icing whistle against Toronto. Leafs scored the next three, and the Rangers scored a goal in the last minute of the first period. And the Rangers have had a good start to this period. They've come out with a couple of real good chances. Defensively, they've been a little bit sharper in this period. And Jonathan Burton has been good to start this second period in goal for the Leafs. Step on and Bozak on the faceoff. Bozak kicks it back, but Kreider takes it away. And a shot is stopped by Bernier. Played there by Stepan. For Zuccarello, checked by Fano. Zuccarello making the moves. Stepan got in there, Franson had a hit, and the Leafs move it up, Clarkson got it ahead, nice play by Kreider. Boy, this line's been good, I mean, they had a short rest, and Elaine Vigneault put him right back on the ice, another icing. Leafs called for icing, 5.29 gone by here in the second. Tonight on MSG Plus, join Bill Pito, Steve Valiquet, E.J. Raddick, and John McClain. As they break down the local hockey scene, they'll go around the NHL. It's all coming up on Hockey Night Live at 10.30 p.m. on MSG+. Plus. It'll be interesting. Gary Bettman, the commissioner, is going to talk about fighting in the game of hockey. Mm -hmm. Fighting is down by 20% this season. Johnny Mack on the show. Nice yep. to see Johnny Mack on Hockey Night Live. Corey Schneider interview live. A lot going on, hustling is Stepniak, save Bernier. The shot by Haglin is saved by Bernier as he recovered, got into good position to get that shot by Haglin. Well, this has been all Rangers here in this period, and Bernier has been the difference. Just a little dump in that goes wide on the short side, but comes out, and the Rangers are beating the Leafs to the loose bucks. That chance, then the follow-up by Haglin, and the Rangers are just, they've been the quicker team. They've been more of, the, more of the aggressive team in this period on the puck. And without the goaltending of Bernier, the Rangers would have the lead. Rangers with six shots here in the first six minutes of the second period. Gardner off the boards all the way down. It's tipped by Talbot to Hunwick. He's pressured by Clarkson. Richard Ponick had it knocked away. Padre able to play it ahead for Clarkson. He leaves it for Jake Gardner. 
Duclair on Gardner. Gardner around the net. Good job by Duclair staying with him. That's knocked away from Clarkson. Robida shot deflected to the side of the net. Kadri with a back pass to Robida. Finds the shooting lane. A pad save made by Talbot. Well, and Clarkson might have gotten a piece of that one. Back into the Ranger zone. Best shift of the period for Toronto. Klein and Hunwick. Hunwick with a long pass. Tipped ahead by San Luis, but blocked and sent back in by Roman Polak. Talbot waiting. Didn't see someone coming up from behind. And Holland had it knocked away by Kevin Klein. Morgan Riley pressured by Nash. Riley again able to work it up the board. Stopped by Koska. Back behind the net. Pollock off the boards. Riley gets it ahead. And Holland laid it down the ice. Koska goes back for it. Santorelli bearing down. And clears it out of the zone. Seven and a half minutes gone by. Second period. Leafs with a 3-2 lead on the Rangers. And around the boards. And Reemsdyke. And the puck out of the zone. Leafs regroup. The Rangers bring on Stepan, Zuccarello, and Kreider again. And the top line for Toronto out against the Rangers' third pair. And Reemsdyke, a one-hand shot as he battled Zuccarello, used his size and strength there. And a good save by Talbot with 7.55 gone by in the second. Jonathan Bernier has allowed two goals, but I think it's safe to say he's been the difference yeah. in the game. I mean, he made some real good saves in the first period with the glove, and then here's the second period. That save by Nash, then Zuccarello has that chance. He makes another beautiful save. Two saves here back-to-back, -back. the second by Haglin. And so the Rangers have come out doing a good job on the forecheck, forcing some turnovers in Toronto's zone. But Jonathan Bernier has made some quality saves. Moore and Kadri for the faceoff. Kadri kicks it back. Eglin went forth. The Leafs able to keep it deep in the Rangers' zone. Ponick works it up the board. Gardner was bumped there by Stepniak. Good pass by Girardi to Stahl. Stahl carries in and shoots deflected up into the netting. Boy, you're right about the pass, Sam. That was a hard pass by Girardi, and it was only about a 10 or 15 foot pass, and that one pass catches all the Leafs forwards and leads to a three on two. Here it is again. Watch, it's just a short pass, 10 feet. Now all three Leafs forwards caught. Here comes Mark Stahl leading the rush three on two and a pretty good defensive play to deflect the shot. And Girardi and Mark Stahl, we said it right at the top of the show. They have elevated their game with Captain Ryan McDonough out of the lineup. They have played big minutes and tough minutes against the other team's top line. Well, another turnover by Toronto. Nash behind the net, looking to make a play. Comes out, centers, Bernier sticks it aside. The penalty coming up, this is Fanuf who knocked down St. Louis. Rangers power play coming up, cross-checking on Dion Phaneuf. That's been the key matchup in this game is Phaneuf and Franson against the Brassard line with Nash and St. Louis. Number three is Phaneuf. Knocks him down there, and so he takes the penalty, and the Rangers with a real good start to this second period. We'll go on to power play. Rangers second power play of the game is power play presented by Volkswagen. First Rangers power play. Leafs scored a shorthanded goal by Peter Holland. Leafs have a power play goal on a five on three in the first period. A shorthanded goal and an even strength goal. Rangers have Broussard, Girardi, Stempiak, St. Louis and Nash to start the power play. Girardi Karen leads Broussard. Off the end boards, around to San Luis. He's checked there by Robida. San Luis takes it back. Cross for Stepniak, it's out of the zone. Rangers regroup. Stepniak. 
Brings it in. Nice pass to St. Louis. Pass back was tipped away. Heads up play by Van Riemsdyk. Here comes Peter Holland. He dumps it deep into the Ranger zone. Girardi with Van Riemsdyk. Who's so dangerous. Got the long reach and the long stick. Girardi pushing it ahead. Here's Derek Stepan. Stepan, Kreider, Zuccarello, Duclair, and Hunwick on. Matt Hunwick moving. Stepan, quick shot. Turned into a pass to Kreider. Zuccarello back to Hunwick. Long shot deflected just wide. Kreider gets it to Zuccarello. Now Hunwick. Zuccarello. Kreider. Zuccarello to Hunwick. Back to Zuccarello. Shot blocked by Riley. Zuccarello again. Rangers keeping the puck in the Toronto zone. Kreider back to Zuccarello. Duclair's in the slot. Hunwick moving. He step out across Zuccarello. Save Bernier. Oh, great passing by the Rangers. Led to a good chance for Zuccarello. Step on was stopped by Franzen. And the puck worked out of the zone, sent back in. You know, Sam, I'm not so sure that Zuccarello, that wasn't more of a hard pass than a shot. Because he had Kreider on that on that wing. Oh. He misfired a little bit. Sorry, Joe. Power play is over. Leo Komarov. Back pass tipped across. Roman Polak steps up. Saved by Talbot. He pulls in the rebound with a glove and covers up. 9.21 to go. First period. Players get together after the save. Rangers trailing 3-2. The upcoming schedule is brought to you by Lexus, the official luxury vehicle of the New York Rangers. Upcoming games all on home ice. Tomorrow night, Edmonton. Tuesday night, Pittsburgh. Thursday night, Colorado. All games on MSG tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Tuesday and Thursday, 7 p.m. Preceded one half hour by Visa Rangers game night. Pittsburgh leading in Buffalo 6-1, to one, and Sidney Crosby has five assists. Wow. <laughs> he came in leading the league in scoring, right? Yeah, it was tied Ty for a check. Yeah. yeah. So much for that. Whew. He said things are too tight at the top. I think I'll just have myself, uh, and there's still a period to play, right? Oh, man, special players. And we saw a special man last night. Wayne Gretzky was in town. Yeah, good to see Wayne. Looked terrific. Sure did. He did a little, he had a little get together with Breitling. A new uh, watch. New watch. Uh, 99 Christmas. watches they're making. I love it. They gave him the 99. <laughs> That's what he was wearing last night. Oh, man. I was waiting for him to look the other way so I could take it. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? And he never said no. People came up to him and asked for pictures. Never once did he say no. Never. He's tremendous. No. David Clarkson moves in against Haglund. Haglund stays with him. Good job. Stahl is there. Stahl moves it up the boards. Stopped by Kadri. Knocked away. Another good play by Stahl. Stempiak dumps it in. 8.35 to go, second period. No scoring here in the second. Leafs lead the Rangers 3-2. Dominic Moore looking for it. Kadri reaches in. Stempiak comes away with it. Shot blocked by Gardner. Robidoux moves it. Good block with the skate by Girardi. Back the other way. Clarkson. Pass across. Goes all the way through. Fans wanted a call. Now, well, the puck was already passed. That's why there was no call. The, it, there was an attempt on the pass to hit Kadri breaking to the net. Girardi dove, but the puck was already too far ahead of Kadri and passed him. And by that time is when Girardi caught up made contact here it is again watch the puck see it's already too far ahead and passed and that's why there was no call on the play which is a good non-call here it is already passed no chance for Kadri to get it and they slide into the net and good non-call 813 remaining in the second period I always get the sense when we come up here that fans and everyone wants more from Nassim Kadri. Yeah, that's you know, true. Just, he's got some. He's got lots of talent, and they're waiting for it. Former first-round pick, but he hasn't been very noticeable in this game, nope. has he? Nope. You haven't mentioned his name much. Kicked back by Brassard. Klein works it up the board. Stopped by Kessel. 
Phil Kessel looks, pass in front, good block in front by Kevin Klein as he blocked the shot by Tyler Bozak. Long shot by Nash, stopped by Bernier. St. Louis pass was blocked, St. Louis battling Cody France, and now it's Broussard. Pass tipped away, St. Louis gets it back to Stahl. He's able to keep it in on the line. Nash centers, St. Louis missed. Hard pass by Nash. Off the board, stopped by Broussard. Good keep in. Broussard finds Stahl. His shot blocked by Franzen. Worked around to Broussard. Nash moves into the circle. Broussard looking. Goes out to Klein. Big drive. Save. Bernier the rebound. Broussard couldn't get a shot off. Here's St. Louis. Shot it wide on the backhand. Oh, man. That line has kept working and gotten chances. Stahl pinching in to stop Kessel. Bozak gets it out to Van Riemsdyk. Koska back. Fanouf joins the play. Stahl caught up to him. Good block by Koska in front. Back the other way, Nash, three on one. The pass is behind Hayes, and Fanouf turns it. Fanouf moves in. Now a chance for Bozak in front, and the pass went all the way through. Bozak held on to that puck beautifully. Pass back to Pollock. That shot gets through Talbot to save, and he holds it. 6.43 to go in the second. Now, Sam, that pass went behind Hayes, but I believe that Nash was passing it to Duclair. Duclair let it go. He was on his forehand going to the net, and Duclair, I think, let it go. Here it is again, three and one. Duclair's the man in the middle for the Rangers. Watch the pass. See, he's just start skating. And where Nash was going to him for the shot. And then Toronto comes back the other way. How about this chance? That's missed. That was Dion Phaneuf. The captain of the Leafs, and you can see Duclair bang his stick on the boards. He knew that Nash was giving him the puck. Komarov in to take the face off against Dominic Moore. On which switches sides with Haglin. 6.43 to go. Face off win for the Leafs. Rangers take it away. Stempniak. Now Haglin. Haglin moves in. Back to Stempniak. That's a pass that was behind Hunwick, who was in deep. Girardi's got it. Stepniak to Dominic Moore. Now it's Connor Allen in deep. Centers and it's blocked by Jake Gardner. Komarov takes over. Off the board, stopped by Haglund. Knocked away by Gardner. And Michael Costa holds, drops it back for Connor Allen. Here's Costa. Ryder had just come off the bench. The pass went through. Leafs play it. Robida pressured by Zuccarello. Ryder comes in. Robida goes down to the ice. And the puck is whistled to a halt. Play is stopped. 549 remaining in the second period. Leafs lead the Rangers 3 to 2. Time to answer our Cadillac <laughs> trivia question. Who is the only father-son duo? Drafted by the Rangers, let's say the Stepons. That's what I would say. And the answer is the Stepons, Derek and Brad. If you knew that, I mean, the, qu the trivia question should be, what play-by-play -play man the NHL turns pages faster <laughs> than anybody else? I couldn't find you had it more, fast more enough. history books out. I was, <laughs> I was trying to confirm what I was thinking. <laughs> Well, who was your other thought then? You had to have some. Did you have somebody else no, in mind? No, no, I just that was the only one I All could right. come up with. All right. But you never know what names pop up. <laughs> now some Kadri carrying for the Leafs. Kadri against Klein, and Klein with the takeaways. Kadri fell down. Zuccarello against Riley. Riley went down. A bump from Richard Ponick. He took a hit, puck around the board. Hunwick was hit by Pollock. And the puck out of the zone. All the way down. Kevin Klein back to get it. Chances have kind of slowed down the last couple of minutes. But here comes Kessel, and he's stopped by Hunwick. Rangers come out. Hayes leading Duclair. Duclair cuts in, and it slid wide. Hayes has it. Hayes. As it knocked away, and the Leafs come out. Kessel to Van Riemsdyk. Van Riemsdyk. What a play by Talbot. Kessel's got the puck in front. And
and that shot went wide. Deflected off someone. I think Stahl. Nash with a long shot, and Bernier gloves it and holds it. 4.37 to go. Boy, Chances on both ends. I was going to say, Sam, the game just opens up at times. Here's Duclair, one chance, can't finish it off. And then here comes James Van Riemsdyk. That makes the pass across, and very alert was Talbot with the stick. And then this second period remains scoreless. That was a heck of a play by Talbot. I think, there, I think there have been better scoring chances in this period than we saw in the first period. And yet five goals in the first, none in the second. Nash trying to get to the puck, but Oof swings it around. Nice play by Koska. Nash gets to it. Oof and Komarov double-team Nash. Nash trying to reach for the puck. He's held off by Oof. Cody Franzen able to move it up. Mike Santarelli and Holland. Here's Santarelli. He shoots saved by Talbot. Long rebound. Nash couldn't control. Komarov's got it. Leo Komarov stopped by Nash. Koska sends it up the boards. Broussard tried to clear it out, but Peter Holland intercepted. Fanuth's got it in deep. Around the boards, San Luis going for it. Stopped by Komarov. Santorelli up the boards, taken away by Nash. Rick Nash gets to the red line. Rangers change lines on the dump in. 3.45 to go in the second. 3-2, Leafs lead the Rangers. Holding is Cody Franzen. Long pass for Santorelli. He's stopped by Hunwick. Duclair gets to it. Duclair, Glass, and Hayes the line for the Rangers. Glass and Fanuf having a little battle here. They've exchanged slashes. And there's another one. Duclair gets to it. Centers and it's shot wide by Hayes. Nice play by Duclair setting up Kevin Hayes. Hunwick in deep. Hayes takes over. Hayes holding. Fires the cross for Hunwick. Hunwick in deep. Try to get it to Duclair, but he was checked by Fanouf, who had his stick tied up. And the stick between the legs of Duclair, and Duclair couldn't move much. Now, I mentioned Tanner Glass and Dion Fanouf had an interesting shift going at one another. Fanouf was out there a long time. Remember, he had been out there on the other, Oops. against the other shift. So there you see a little cross check and a slash. And then they come out near the blue line. There was a little bit more of that. It was old time hockey. It was. Fanuf was trying to get off the ice because he had been out on that shift. Of course, he's been out there against the Broussard line all night. So they had already left the ice and changed, and he couldn't make a change. Moore won the faceoff. Haglin trying to play the puck. Gardner able to move it ahead. Good work by Haglin. Rangers keep in. Haglin with a shot wide. Around the boards, Girardi. Stepniak in the corner, checked by Gardner. And the Leafs able to clear it out. David Clarkson. And the Rangers only chases. Stall with him. They go to the boards. Clarkson goes down, gets up and plays the puck. Out to Jake Gardner. Gardner wide of the net. Off the stick of Richard Ponick. Stall swings it up for Stepniak. Pass goes by Haglin and is played by Robidoff. 2.20 to go in the second. Take away. Stall to Haglund. He scores! The Leafs. The Leafs mishandle the puck, give it away, and it turns into a goal for Carl Haglund to tie it. Well, it was Haglund's pressure that got in and forced a turnover. Here it is. That's Haglund. That's chasing, chasing the play. Gardner then can't handle the puck. And right back to the front. Here comes, again, the pressure, the turnover, and then Dominic Moore, what a pass. But Stefan Robida faced the pressure, and he was forced to get rid of the puck quickly, and he put it on the skate of Gardner. And my mistake, I called stall. It was Dominic Moore making the play to Carl Haglin, and Haglin scores to tie it at 3-3. They have forced a lot of turnovers in the Toronto zone. So the Rangers, who led 1-0, trailed 3-1, have come back to tie it. 3-3, late second period. Santorelli. Now it's Peter Holland with a shot. Talbot makes the save and holds it with a minute 48 to go. Rangers have had 11 shots on goal here in the second period. And they cash in on the 
the turnover. Haglund gets the goal, more the assist in front of his family and friends at 17.44. than the goal scorer. Uh, they forecheck like that, use that speed. And again, I, I continue to mention it, but this Toronto team in their own zone is not very good. I mean, they turn the puck over an awful lot. Call fires hard around the boards. Leafs keep in. Kessel looking for an opening. Couldn't get it through to Bozak. Bozak with a shot and a glove save by Talbot. Bozak can't believe it. Kessel with the setup from behind the net. Found Bozak, who let it go quickly, and right into the glove. Look at it, he can't believe this. There's Kessel behind the net. There's the pass. Oh, in the glove. Kessel showed good patience, waiting to find an opening to get the puck, the puck to Tyler Bozak. Broussard won the draw. Girardi up the boards for St. Louis. Now Nash. Down the middle goes Girardi. St. Louis. Turns, pass across, tip, Broussard's got it, glove save! Off the glove of Bernier. Girardi was all alone in front. I'm telling you, Sam, that, the, the Rangers win the faceoff and it leads to a three on two. Broussard moves in, drop to Nash. He shoots, save, Bernier, and he holds it. Oh, man. You know, I'm, I'm telling you, this Leafs team defensively, wow. I mean, right off the faceoff, watch what happens. Rangers win it, and Girardi makes the pass and goes right past everybody. Here comes the three on two. And then even when they do get back, Girardi again, look at him in front of the net. With this chance, two on oh in front of the net. That's after the Leafs got back in their own zone. Hey, Randy Carlisle, who is a Norris Trophy winner and knows that you have to play solid defense. He won a Stanley Cup, of course, in Anaheim as the head coach. This has to be scratching oh, his boy. head at the chances that his team gives up. Game tied 3-3. Coming down to one minute remaining in the period. Clarkson stopped by Hunwick. Klein picks off Panic and takes the puck. Stempniak all the way across for Haglin, a little too far. Polak is there to play it. Haglin ties him up and takes the puck away. Fires across, intercepted by Richard Panic. Panic, who has a goal in the game for Toronto. Hunwick back after it was ahead of Clarkson. It turned into an icing by the Leafs with 35.2 remaining in the second period. Tomorrow morning on MSG Network, get everything you need to know before the Giants' big matchup with the Seattle Seahawks on Giants' first and 10. Tomorrow morning at 10.30 on MSG Network. Ponick had a half a step to get to the red line to dump it in. And instead, he dumped it in without any pressure. That's fired from a sharp angle, saved by Bernier. The rebound cleared out. All the way down to the goaltender, Talbot. Step on. Pushes it ahead. Zuccarello sends it into the leaf zone. Kreider plays it deep. Holland fires it off the glass. Girardi stops it. Final seconds of the period ticking off. Take away by Komarov. Komarov centers. The horn sounds. The period comes to an end. Rangers get the only goal of the second period. Got lots of good chances, and they've tied the game 3-3 heading for the third. Well, the Rangers were better defensively, and they were more aggressive offensively, and that's what led to the Rangers forcing turnovers, and really the difference in this, in this period was the goaltending of Jonathan Bernier. He was very good in period number two. Coming up, it's the New York Lottery intermission report. Bill Pito will have the Audi MSG 150. John Giannone rejoins us with his special guest, Carl Haglin, the goal scorer. Ron Duguay takes a look at Derek Stepan's first game of the season. It's all coming up on the New York Lottery intermission report here in Toronto. Jonathan Bernier coming up with some big saves in that second period, but the Rangers finally found one to get through. Carl Haglin scored it. The game tied 3-3, end of the second. We are back in Toronto. Glad you're with us for New York Rangers hockey, as always. New York Rangers hockey on MSG, presented by Chase. Time now for the Papa John's third goal replay, Joe. Late in the second period, here's the speed of Haglund. 
He gets in quickly. He forces the turnover, goes back to the front of the net. Don Moore finds him, puts it in front. Quick shot through the legs of Bernier, and that's the tying goal as we get ready for the third. The day after the Rangers score three or more goals, get 50% off your regular menu price online order at papajohns.com with promo code RANGERS3. Available at participating Papa John's locations. Now, between the benches, let's find out what John Giannone has found out between periods. John. Well, Sam, I talked to associate coach Scott Arneal, who said that second period was a lot more the way the Rangers want to play, get it in, make their defense go to work. He said, by and large, they played well. He said, but you know what? A couple of times, we got into pond hockey, trading chances with speed. We don't want to do that against these guys. He said, but we're confident about what we can do here in the third. He said, you can see some of their D, especially their top pair D, has played a lot of hockey we want to catch them make them stay on the ice longer make them defend more that'll lead to some opportunities for the record Phaneuf at 1540 friends and at 1406 and out there to start this period thank you John and by the way who was Glenn Healy waving to some friends back in New York <laughs> probably <Huh? laughs> he knows he knows Glenn Healy has never met a camera he's, uh, uh, he's, he's great to see great to talk to chance in deep for Bozak Goes around the net. That chance by Kessel driven wide out to Phaneuf. Around to Van Riemsdyk. That centering feed by Kessel all the way through, and out comes Marty St. Louis. Top line against top line to start the third period. 3 3 game. Cody Franzen with the puck. Leafs winless in their last two. The Rangers on a good stretch here. 2 0 oh 2 in their last four. And only one loss in regulation in their last eight games. Asim Kadri shot deflected away by Kevin Klein. Hunwick pressured, took the hit, moves the puck to step on. Good play there. Here comes Kreider. Kreider in with a shot. And off of Bernier and around the boards it goes. Deflects out. Clarkson got it through to Kadri. Kadri makes the move. Nice play by Hunwick. Stayed with him. Clarkson. Up the boards. Riley's shot blocked in front. Goes into the corner. Klein tips it away from Richard Ponick. And the bad pass made by Kreider. In deep. The shot off the side of the net by Ponick. On the pass from Riley. Shot by Clarkson. He missed it. And shanked it wide. Kreider made that pass between his legs. legs. Right to the middle of the ice. Mm. Missed and it turned into a good scoring chance. Stefan dumps it deep. Rangers change lines. Haglin, Moore, and Stepniak come on. Tomorrow night, Rangers and Edmonton Oilers at the Garden on MSG. We'll be on the air at 5.30 with Visa Rangers game night with Al Trotwig. 6 o'clock, Rangers and Edmonton Oilers. Start of three straight games at home for the Rangers. Giveaway. And Stepniak got taken down. Hoska able to move it to Haglin, who lifts it way up in the air. Bounces off the end boards. Santorelli moves it up. Stopped by Connor Allen. Long shot deflection and a save. Oh, Bernier stayed with it. That deflected straight down. Yeah, Dominic Moore did a nice job in the corner and then going back to the front of the net. And then prior to that, to the other end, the giveaway, the giveaway by Kreider, and then that scoring chance just misses by Ponick. And then there's Dominic Moore. Nice job on the forecheck back to the front of the net. Here it comes. Deflection. Good save, Bernier. 2.31 gone by a third period. The Rangers have been a good third period team. 17 goals scored in the third period this season. Leafs able to clear out. Dumped in. Chasing is Matt Fratton. Tosca tries to move a double team in the corner. And Carrick is there. Carrick number 53. Here's Fratton. Checked by Tanner Glass and a takeaway by Duclair. Duclair moves down. The puck swept away by Roman Pollock. And after Kevin Hayes missed it. And the puck picked up. Cleared out by Levo. Josh Levo got it ahead to Sam Carrick. Stahl takes over. All the way down and close, no icing. And played by the goalie, Jonathan Bernier. 
Enough ahead for Bozak. Now Van Riemsdyk through for Kessel. Around to Van Riemsdyk. Back the other way. Cody Franson is there. In front of him was Broussard. Carried off the end boards. Kessel deflected it into the crease. And Talbot with an alert play to glove it and hold it. Blue Shirts fans, secure your pass to Rangerstown. Individual tickets are available for tomorrow's game versus the Edmonton Oilers and Tuesday's game, November 11th, against the Pittsburgh Penguins. For great seats, be sure to visit NewYorkRangers.com. Now Rick Nash in period number one only had one shot attempt that missed the net. Period number two, four shots on goal, two other attempts that missed. So six chances for Nash in the second period. Saw second in the league in goal scored with 10. Corey Perry of Anaheim leads the league with 11. That shot off the glove of Talbot. Long shot by Franson goes wide. Comes to Nazem Kadri out to Fanuk. Deflection goes behind the net. Nice play by Clarkson in front. As he established good position. Kadri gave it away. Out comes Stepan. Three-man rush. Leafs get back. Franson checks. Kreider who broke free and a save by Bernier. Great effort by Chris Kreider to use his strength and get a good shot on goal. Well, he turned on the speed and the pass by Stepan right down the wing and then Kreider just stayed with it. Found a way to fight through Franson. And he ends up getting the shot on goal and again Bernier comes up with the save face off Bozak wins it back around the boards it's cleared out by Van Riemsdyk Kessel moves in on Hunwick Hunwick checks in nice play taken back by Rick Nash Nash plays it deep for St. Louis St. Louis plays it back to Klein back around to Broussard. Broussard comes out past tip by Bernier. Taken away by St. Louis. They score! Rick Nash into a wide open net. And the Rangers lead 4-3. to three. I'm telling you, you can just see Rick Nash heating up in the second period with those chances. And this pass by St. Louis almost looked like one of those no-look passes. He knew who was in front of the net. The great work, Broussard, down around the net. There's one chance, Leafs can't clear it. There's another one, what a pass. No one picks up Rick Nash, nobody. And here comes the pass by St. Louis, what a thing of beauty. And that was an easy one for Rick Nash. And the Rangers take the lead. Rick Nash ties for the league lead in goals scored with 11 he has scored goals in nine of the rangers 13 games scored points in 10 of 13 games what a season he is having what a great start to this season and brassard and, and san louis contribute here's Haglund with speed getting down after the puck Haglund took it away Komarov gets it back for toronto so the rangers who scored the first goal of the game fell behind three to one have scored the last three goals of this game and lead four to three. You know what's happening? That was one of the few shifts that Fanuff and Franson were not on the yeah. ice against that line. That's been a key matchup in this game. Nash but, gets his 11th from St. Louis and Broussard at 4:33. Now, sorry, Sam, but uh, Pollock and uh, and Riley. Riley were the two defensemen on the ice. Hayes. Tied up by Robida. Riley moves it around the boards for Fratton. Derek Broussard now has eight points in the last five games as he continues his fine play. And Marty St. Louis has come alive. And the Rangers have a 4-3 lead. And Rick Nash has stayed alive. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, every game he's just been a dominant player. Here's another chance. He's after the puck. Riley got there first, clears it out. Six minutes gone by in the third. Carrick winds it deep for Fratton. Checked there by Stahl. Gets a piece of it. And the puck forced out of the zone. Picked up by Kreider. Kreider bumped there by Carrick. 
Pollock pulls it to Fano. Sent in from the Leaf side of the red line, and it's an icing on Toronto. Bad play by the Leafs. 624 gone by here in the third period. Now the Rangers with the pressure on the four check has caused all kinds of problems. Look at Toronto, they have players back and no one. That's Riley, the youngster. He knew right away. Just look around for Rick Nash if you're on the ice defensively and no one's close to him. Brassard was also there, no one was close to him. Connor Allen. Lane Vigneault continues to roll three defensive pairs out there, knowing he's got another game to play tomorrow night. Swung in deep by Kreider to step on. Out for Connor Allen. Kreider behind the net. Kreider has scored the first goal of this game. Played toward the net, Zuccarello. Swung at it, got a little of it, and went wide. Kreider's got it. Kreider, Zuccarello, Haglund, and Nash, the Rangers' goal scorers. As Cadre carries in, hounded by Brassard. Tosca came over to help out. Cadre stays with it. Good play. The back pass to Pollock. Toward the net, he scores! Just working around. The Ranger can't get a hold of the puck. And eventually Pollock takes a shot. I think it hit something on the way in. And it looked like it was they, they waved at it. Whether it hit anybody or not, or whether Clarkson got it. I don't think that Camp Talbot ever saw the puck. Codry was out high. Clarkson was right in front of Camp Talbot. Let's see. Oh. Amy Clarkson was just saying, see, it hit the blade of my stick right here. He was showing Codre. Well, they are taking a look at Toronto to make sure it wasn't, the stick was not above the crossbar before they count this. 7.27 is the time, and that is being checked out. Here's the shot again, high rising shot. You know what? I thought I didn't think it was Clarkson. I thought I thought your call it was Kadri. That's what I thought. I thought Kadri got it. Anyway, it counts. It is a good goal. The Leafs have answered back, so these teams have taken turns, going back and forth, grabbing momentum in the game. Lead changes, ties. Now it's a 4-4 game. Rangers lead didn't last long. They grabbed the lead at 433, and the Leafs answer back at 727. Polak gets credit for the goal from Kadri. So they announce Roman Polak getting the goal. The puck all the way down is an icing on the Rangers. 805 gone by here in the third period. There is Roman Polak. Not known to be an offensive player. He was brought here because of his size and physical ability in a trade with the St. Louis Blues. Carl Gunderson went the other way. Different type of player than Polak. They just felt that they needed a little bit more bite back on defense. So anytime he scores a goal, that's a bonus for them. Bozak and Dominic Moore for the faceoff. Moore wins it back. Girardi around to Stepniak. Or dump in the tent was knocked down by Fanuf. A whistle for a hand pass. 8-14 gone by. Third period. Rangers and Leafs tied 4-4. Game recap is brought to you by your Tri Honda dealers. Five goals in the first period. Rangers got the first one and the fifth one in between. Leafs three in a row. Toronto had a shorthanded goal, power play goal, one five on five in those three goals. Kreider and Zuccarello scoring in the first period. Hagelin tied the game 3-3 in the second. 
Rangers grab the lead on the goal by Rick Nash here in the third, and the Leafs have tied it on the goal by Roman Pollock. Sard, St. Louis, and Nash on with Stall and Girardi. Around the boards, Fanouf chips it ahead. And Bozak brings it out. Two on one developing. Kessel lost control. Stall got back. Good play. Kessel ties him up. Stall makes a nice pass to Broussard, and out of the zone it goes. And Fanouf and Franson back on the ice now against the Broussard line. Fanouf trying to play it ahead, hit his own man. Brings it back to Franson. Rangers have changed lines, bringing on Hayes to Claire. And Glass. Bozak back to Jake Gardner. Nice play by Duclair. Up ahead, Van Riemsdyk. Hunwick checks him. Van Riemsdyk trying to play it in front. Oh, a good play by Bozak. While Glass was trying to move the puck, Bozak got a shot off. Kevin Hayes centers. Klein shoots, save. Rebound behind the net. Good chance for Kevin Klein. Well, what a play by Hayes. Spin around outside the blue line to get away from James, James Van Riemsdyk and then set up Klein for the shot. Claire aggressive on the four check. Bozak lifts it out of the zone. 10.25 to go in the third. Tied 4-4. Tosca with a long pass for Stepan who tips it in the late zone. Bernier moves it. Ponick checked by Kreider. And Riley able to carry into the Ranger zone. Morgan Riley cuts in and shoots. And a save by Talbot in tra through traffic. Marks it up the boards for Riley. Stepan's got it. Ryder chips it out. Past the midway point, third period. Richard Ponick holding behind his net. It's Played off the boards out of the zone to Clarkson. Back for Riley. Diving play by Zuccarello to break things up. 9.35 to go in the third. Klein looks around. Ponick on the four check. Klein moves it for Stempniak. Stempniak across to Hunwick. Hunwick moves in on Robida and fires a save by Bernier and he covers up. 9.22 to go. Third period. Rangers and Leeds. 4-4. Kevin Hayes through two periods and played just over six minutes. And how about the play he makes here that almost turns into a go-ahead goal? Look at this play against James Van Riemsdyk. Spins around, keeps control of the puck, head up all the way, finds Klein, and Bernier with a real good save on Kevin Klein. More and more confident. Isn't yeah, he? absolutely. Boy, he's a good-looking player. Size. Look at the two nice youngsters there. Hayes, Duclair. Strikes here They're early in the fun. season. They are having fun. 9.15 to go in the third. Girardi and Van Riemsdyk. Van Riemsdyk using the big body, trying to shield the puck. Help from Rick Nash. Trying to work it loose. Kessel got it free and played it on goal. Bozak missed it. And Talbot able to cover up with 9.02 to go in the third. Tomorrow on MSG, it's the Rangers and the Edmonton Oilers. It all begins with live coverage at 5.30 with Visa Rangers game night with Al Trotwick. And then it's followed by the Rangers and the Edmonton Oilers at Madison Square Garden. Hope you'll join us. The Oilers winning in Buffalo last night. That was their first road win of the season. They're on, what, a five-game road trip, I believe, right? Yep. They... Worked loose by Hunwick. Rangers will play three straight on home ice, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday against Edmonton, Pittsburgh, and Colorado. And go to Pittsburgh for a game next Saturday night. Santorelli works it deep for Toronto. Kamarov. Now Holland. Rangers trying to take it away. Santorelli keeps it alive. Dominic Moore's got it. Holland on him. Good job by Moore. Took a hit, moves the puck. Haglin lifts it out. Chance for Stepniak. Spinning on Gardner. And Gardner blocks the shot. And after it is Koska. Now Stepniak joins the fray. 
Tanner Glass trying to take it away. And Peter Holland's got it for the Leafs. Eight minutes to go in the third. Connor Allen off the boards. Take it away and send in deep by Matt Fratton. Talbot back ends it up the boards. Blocked by Fratton. Fratton takes it deep. Hayes on him. Good job by Kevin Hayes to come out with the puck. Hayes carries it clear, pushes it ahead to Tanner Glass. Hold on. Good job by Hayes on the four check there. Around the boards, blocked by Glass. By Glass, his pass off the skate of Hayes. And brought back in by Hunwick. Played up the boards by Pollock for Levo. Josh Levo off the boards. And Klein takes it back for the Rangers. Hunwick to Klein. No. And put the head by Stepan. Eric Stepan making his season debut, coming back from the broken leg. And has skated well in this game. Picked up an assist. Back the other way, Nassim Kadri. Kadri shot blocked. Good play by Girardi. Kadri again. Looks around. Shot by Clarkson wide. Around the boards to Morgan Riley. In deep for Kadri. Knocked down by oh, Girardi. Boy. The skate he came got, up and, oh. and got oh, boy. Girardi, and he's hurt. Well, let's see. Yeah. Maybe may not be as bad as we first thought. Medical trainer Jim Ramsey out there. And it looks like a slight cut. Boy, it didn't take long for Jim Ramsey to get out there, did it? Scary moment. Oh, it is scary. Boy, those skate blades are so razor sharp. Boy, oh boy, is this good news. Girardi took a quick I, breath. Yeah, I, th I think he really thought something was, and you, why wouldn't you think that? Oh, oh gosh. That's scary. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Boy, oh, boy. See oh. Stepan waving for the bench. All right. I mean, it's such a dangerous play. The, the skate of Kadri comes up. He is a, he is an awfully lucky player. Man. Huh? Yeah. Wow. Jim Ramsey tending to Dan Girardi. That shot goes wide, but Girardi looks like he'll be fine. Van Reeves that check by Stahl. Bozak getting it to Fanuf. Down the boards. Stahl got a piece of it. Kessel takes it back. Kessel circling on the line. Kept it in. Shot by France and tipped wide by Bozak. Chipped out of the zone by Broussard. Nash finds it. And the Rangers are offside. St. Louis just ahead of the play. 6 8 to go. Third period. 4 4 the score. Rangers' last three games have gone to overtime. Edmund Boyle is probably sitting in New York right now saying, Go! Yeah, overtime. Go ahead. Yeah, you got you to gotta get the points. They, they've been finding ways to get points yeah. with, you know, a lot of injured players. And so you, you give them credit for their effort, how they're working to, you know, they... They never say die. Rangers. When they fall behind, they were down 3-1 in this game. Fought back, scored three straight. The Rangers have had 12 points out of a possible last 16. Out of the last eight games, they've come out with 12 points. Hunwick, good job on Kadri. Girardi back on the ice. Knocks down Holland. Back behind the net for Hunwick. 5.40 to go in the third. Take away by Gardner. Goes to the net. Pass it front. Score! Gardner makes a great play. Coverall finishes. The Leafs have the lead back. 5-4. Yeah, Gardner was saying this morning, he says, I don't have many points. Not as many as last year, he said, but defensively I've been better. And this is a beautiful offensive read and the giveaway by Hunwick. Hunwick's attempted pass up the boards. A little on the soft side, here it is again, goes off the boards. And Gardner just read it beautifully. And then feeds it across for Komarov to finish. And that's a, just a great play by Jake Gardner.
5-4, Toronto regains the lead. They led 2-1, 3-1, and then the Rangers mounted a comeback, grabbed the lead at 4-3, now the Leafs have taken the lead back. Komarov, his first of the season from Gardner at 14-26, and the Toronto Maple Leafs lead the Rangers 5-4. Well, the head coach is not seeing a, a solid defensive effort. I mean, here's the play here. You see Hunwick behind here. Look at all the room he has. Now, as he's starting to move out, you know, the, the rule of thumb basically is don't watch. We stop here. Rule of thumb is if you're a forward, don't leave the zone before the puck. All three fours are outside the zone. So, yes, it was a bad giveaway, but there was no support after that because all three forwards already cleared the zone. Yeah, no one to get the puck no one to. No one to come back and help out. You, know, you give Gardner credit. He read it really well, made the play, but the Rangers positionally were not there. Kadri pressured by Stepan. Reverses. Wiley plays it up the boards. Off of Hunwick out of the zone. Hunwick couldn't see the puck. He's behind him. Fine trying to take over. Zuccarello takes a hit. You saw him coming. Yeah. Zuccarello out of the corner of his eye saw Clarkson coming, and Clarkson took the worst of that. Zuccarello pulls up toward the net, tip into the corner. Broussard <laughs> for Kreider. Kreider comes around the net, trying to get it to Girardi off the corner glass, but oh, moves it up the boards and out of the zone. Stahl goes back to get it. 4.20 to go in the third. Rangers down 5-4. to four. Here's Nash. Good move through the neutral zone. Nash down low. San Luis swings it around to Nash. He shoots blocked by Bernier. Another chance. Poke checked away by Bernier. And out comes Kessel. Three on two leaps. Kessel pass across off the stick of Bozak. And it's blocked by Stahl. Kessel has it back. Centers got through. Save Talbot. And the puck bounced down the side of the net. Good shot by Morgan Riley. Nash able to work it ahead for Brassard. Bernier steers it to the side. Riley. Outlets for Kessel who missed it. Connor Allen couldn't play it. And Pomerol puts it in the Ranger zone with 325 to go. Allen up ahead, Dominic Moore. Haglund to the left, Stepniak moves in. Stepniak against Gardner. Moore trying to play it. Holland takes it away and lifts it clear. Gardner knocked it down. Back the other way, Holland was offside. 3.08 to go. Following the conclusion of the game, we've got complete post-game coverage on Mercedes-Benz Rangers post-game. Joe and I will anchor up here in the studio. Dave Maloney will join us. John Giannone will work the locker room, talk to the players. We'll hear from head coach Elaine Vigno. It's all coming up on Mercedes-Benz Rangers postgame live from Toronto immediately following the game. Rangers have gone 69 consecutive games in which they have Scored four more goals and won all the game. So that streak is in danger of going by the boards. 69 consecutive games in which they've scored four more goals. They have won. Right now they trail five to four. Ryder checked by Polak. Godfrey moves it ahead and it's lifted out of the zone. 2.35 to go. Klein for Hunwick and went by him and turns into an icing. That's an interesting stat, uh, Sam, you gave. And it's, you know, this is an unusual game for the Rangers, the way they played defensively. It's been sloppy. And it's been obvious that when they put pressure on the offensive zone, they forced Toronto to turn over the entire game with, with pressure. And so if they would just be themselves in their own zone the way they normally play, uh, and this, if they don't come back and get anything out of this, they're going to look at this as a real missed opportunity yeah, to get points. Right. Bozak around the boards for Franson. 
Ozek checked by Broussard. Van Riemsdyk trying to get out front. Rangers able to poke it away. Van Riemsdyk got a piece of that. Nash. And Van Riemsdyk with a good effort to take it back. Bronson pressured by St. Louis. Gave it away to Nash. Nash moves in, feeds Broussard. Pass for St. Louis. Went off his stick. And out of play. Was that him or it might have been Phnuf actually. Yeah. Also they got a piece of it. But Broussard is such an unselfish player. And that one I think he tried to force a little bit. Not a... Bad time to take the shot. Here's another turnover. Here come the Rangers, and there's Broussard waiting. And uh, I don't think that puck ever got through. Let's see who's it hit. Uh, it goes off a of Franzen stick, actually. So, good chance for Broussard, who could score from there with his shot. And it's 56 to go. We'll keep an eye on Cam Calvin. He has slid out between the two circles. Step on on with Ryder and Zuccarello. Girardi and Stahl. Rangers trailing five to four. Padre sets himself for the boards. Robidog got taken down by Zuccarello. Up the board, Girardi's got it. Around past Kreider. Leafs take it, Polak chips it off the boards. Talbot was heading for the bench, he's got a backtrack. Girardi Fading step on. Talbot coming out of the crease. Rangers get it deep. Rangers dead is empty. Extra skater on. Zuccarello plays it behind the net. Haglin after takes it away from Polak. Step on behind the net. Looking. Feeds Haglin. Out to Stahl. Stahl to Girardi. Down low to Zuccarello. Zuccarello fires across. Off the board. Step on to Zuccarello. And he missed it. The Leafs come out of the zone looking in an empty net. Stahl takes it back. One minute to go in the third period. Wow. Stahl took a hit from Kamarov. Yeah, from behind. Stahl's hurting. Nash fires in. Bernier puts it in the corner. Nash after it blocked it. Haglin behind the net. Checked by Franson. Nash against Benoff. Pulled him down. Broussard gets it to Haglin. Off the back of the net, Broussard's got it again. Phaneuf on him. Broussard turning. Pass back. Shot by Klein. Save Bernier. And the rebound into the corner. Hunwick to St. Louis. To Haglund trying to bank it in. A save by Bernier. He's got the puck with 23.4 to go. Wow. I'm not so sure he knew he had the puck. They tried to jam it in the short side. I think they'll just take a look at this. Bernier's out of his net trying to play the puck, and the Rangers get control of it and just keep coming. And there's Phaneuf on top of Nash, takes him down, stays on top of him. And Nash, while he was on the ice, is able to play the puck. And then this wrist shot, save. Rangers try to get the rebound. They can't get that one in. They stay with it. And then the last chance, Haglin tries to put it in. Where's the puck? I don't think Bernier knows where it is. His pad is against the post. Rangers have used their timeout. Scott O'Neill, Rangers associate coach, moving up front to talk to the six skaters. 23.4 to go with the Leafs leading five to four. Rangers out shooting Toronto. 35 to 31 for the game. Rangers were out shot 16 to eight in the first period. This game has gone back and forth, and right now it's the Leafs. Two goals here in the third period. Leading it five to four. Bozak and Stepan for the faceoff. Kick back by Bozak. Benoff up the boards, up the glass, and off the glass into the crowd. Face off will be in the leaf zone. 18.1 remaining. Step on again. Step on Nash, San Louis, Broussard, Hunwick, and Girardi for the Rangers. And again, Bozak kicks it back. Uh, he's very good on face off. St. Louis to step on, couldn't control it. Phaneuf pushes it out of the zone. And Ben Riemsdyk 
Wide of the empty net. Driven around the boards by San Luis. Stopped by Kamaroff. That's it. Leafs are going to win it. Five to four. The Leafs beat the Rangers for the second time this season. This one got away from that the did. Rangers. They grabbed the lead four to three. Couldn't hold it. Leafs win 5-4. Well, the, the Rangers are going to look at this and say the defensive mistakes that we made, the breakdowns that we had, they gave the Leafs the opportunity to get back in this game. I mean, this was a game that was right for the taking with the way Toronto played defensively. I mean, they were porous in their own zone. Their goaltender came up with some big saves when he had to, Bernier, but the, the Rangers are going to look at this and say, we let points get away. No doubt about that. Rangers head off. Their first loss in regulation time in the last five games. Jonathan Bernier gets the win. Let's take a look at the Ford goal of the game, Joe. Well, this is the winning goal. There you see Hunwick with the turnover. Rangers forwards caught out in the neutral zone. And Komarov takes the pass. Gardner made a great play, he really did. Made a great play. And to set up Komarov for the game winner. Time to look at the stars of the game brought to you by your Mercedes-Benz Tri-State dealers. Visit on the web at searchmercedes.com. Matt Zuccarello, a goal and an assist. Seven shots on goal. Leo Komarov at the game-winning goal. His first goal of the season, plus an assist, was plus two for the game as the Leafs beat the Rangers five to four. Coming up, complete post-game coverage on Mercedes-Benz Rangers post-game live from Toronto. Final score, the Leafs with two goals in the third, beat the Rangers five to four. Stay tuned, Mercedes-Benz Rangers post-game is next.